pray with me. Have you grabbed your cup of coffee? If you have, pull up a chair and let's talk. I'm all bright eyed and bushy tailed this morning because I'm interviewing my mother in Carothersville, Missouri. Today we are celebrating her 88th birthday. Thank you, Jesus. She's been with me that long. Well, not 88 years, but all of my life. I'll just say that. And we are so excited. The whole family is celebrating today. And gifts and cards are coming from everywhere. Money, gifts, cards, and just whatever we can think of that we think would make her happy. And she is just as jovial and happy today as she can be. That same old sister, Odessa Jones. Today we just got, want to stop and talk about the value of a mother. Hmm. Have you thought about that? The value of a mother. She'll be with you to the bitter end. She'll crawl through water. She'll walk across the river. She'll visit the jail. She'll be at the hospital. She'll be at every birth. She'll take you to church. She'll feed you. She'll force feed you when you won't eat, when you don't feel like eating. She'll educate you. My mother has done all those things and more, not just for me, all six of her children and everyone else she could reach out to and touch in the community. What a valuable woman. She's been a prime example for me on how to be a woman. I picked up on a lot of her attributes and I'm still trying to mimic my mother. I want to be the kind of woman she is. If I could just be half of the woman my mother has been. I know my life would be pleasing to God. Go. Good morning and welcome to Celebrate With Me. I'm here today with my mama, Sister Odessa Jones of Carruthersville, Missouri. We're here today celebrating her 88th birthday. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you're still with me. You've been around here 88 years and just full of wisdom. I just, we just want to talk this morning. Grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair and let's talk. <laughs> you know, I just like to reflect, Mama. Yeah. I'd like to just talk to you about what it's been like, you know, over the years. Some of the things you taught me as a child and we're just celebrating. Look at your finished product. At least we almost, almost finished. One of us. <laughs> I just thank God for what he's done and thank God for how you have been such a mother. I'm celebrating that today. I can sit here and say that God blessed me with the greatest mother in the world. I thank God for how I was brought up in the church and how I used to just detest having to go to prayer and Sunday school and Bible study and YPWW and testimony <laughs> service and altar call and and Terry for the Holy Ghost and all those things that were going on when I was a child and just didn't understand. Yeah. But yeah, I also I remember, Mama, how you mm -hmm. how you nurtured and how you taught me. Yeah. How you took out the time and taught me wisdom, mm -hmm. taught me how to cook and taught me how to take care of my husband, how to take care of my children, taught me how to be steadfast. Yeah. And that's, that's something nice. to Sweet. celebrate today. We have a whole lot to be thankful for. Mama, just, just tell me how you feel today at 88. Just testify and tell us a little something about I feel good, good, good. All right. Because I've done good, good, good. The best of my ability. I've done my best. Yes. So I can't help but feel nothing but good. Because <laughs> it's the good with what I've done. And they, hallelujah, make it feel good. It's the goodness of the Lord. That's you know, right. you raised six children. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can remember a lot of things. Growing up in the home, I yeah, remember you and yeah. Daddy being on one accord. Mm -hmm. I remember not being able to pull tricks, how to ask you something and then go ask Daddy. But you all were together in unity, and Daddy said, what did your mama say? Yeah, and you better not lie, you better <laughs> tell the truth about what mama said, because if he finds out that mama didn't say you could go, you in trouble. In you all stuck together, mm -hmm. and that is very valuable. That's the lesson we want to teach today and, and leave for the next generation. Go, is to be on one accord mm -hmm. when you're raising children. We all had to go to church. We had to go to Sunday school. We had to go to every service, and Lord, I had to go to that 
prayer meeting down the road to the, to the prayer service. I had to go down there. And to me, I was a little girl, and all them women just seemed so old. I was, I guess they were 30 or 40 years old. But, yeah, that's what I think. But to me, being eight or nine years old, I just felt like I was in prison having to go to church like that. And, serve the Lord, but I look back over the years, I think about oh, all the things I learned sitting there listening to those women speak wisdom, and even the uh, prayer circle, and the times you all made quilts, and things like that, and just sharing information, and yeah, leaving a yeah. legacy, and giving me something to build on, yeah. and that's what this generation okay. means today, now look at us today. I want you to talk, Mama, because you got a whole lot more to say than I do. I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know how to talk. I talk. It's my biggest. It's my hobby, talking. Yes. I don't go to church about eight or two, but I talk. I still get the message out. I got a telephone. I use it. And so I don't use this gossip. If somebody gossip and want to talk about trash, I don't want to hear it. I will not hurt nobody's feelings. But I let them know what I'm sure. But honey, I've got to grow up. I like to do. That's and which right. I do really have a lot to do and a lot to think about. So then I don't have time to waste my time on talking about trash. Amen. When she said, they said, John. I don't care what they said. <laughs> they, she said, John, I don't care. Mm -hmm. So my, my eyes are looking straight forward. I want to be ready when Jesus comes. So to be ready to become like I do what he said do. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, study to show yourself a proof of weapon unto God, rightly to abide in the word of truth. Mm -hmm. So when you write it about thing, it's right. Bible and to study. You study the Bible to show yourself. I'm not trying to beat somebody. I'm trying to see how much I know. That doesn't matter. A lot of people know. A whole lot of people know a lot and don't do nothing about what they know. <laughs> so we need to do what we know. Do it, think it, speak it, and do it. You know, it's better to do mm -hmm. a thing than do a lot of talking than do what they talk. People get sick of that. It's all she needs to do. Ain't to do it with mouth. You heard people say that? Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing to it but mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say, well, it shows a lot of mouth to it. She got a good mouth because she talks about good things. Mm -hmm. You don't be talking about who shot John, what he do, what he did, he don't. But I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for that. I'm working for a crown. Yes. That song said, I shall wear a golden crown in heaven. You don't wear a dime. You're in heaven, they told you. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. shall wear a golden crown. Yes. And the way they grow the crown, we got to do right. Yes. Got to treat everybody right. Got to be nice to people when they find it up. Mm -hmm. Still, be nice. Mm -hmm. Cause you can't, you can't take that bad treatment. Somebody snap you, snap them back. You ain't done being ignorant, just like they. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not supposed to slap them. When well, they speak hard, when well, you speak good words, kind words, mm -hmm. kind words, turn away wrath, mm -hmm. turn away confusion. So speak kind. If you don't feel good, don't talk about. Oh, I got up on the wrong side of bed. No, you woke up with the devil in you. <laughs> you ain't on the wrong side of no bed. You get up on the back side, front side. The devil is here. Now, honey, can't you see what's the matter? Mm -hmm. So then you wake up doing the right thing. Bless your heart. Uh, we are here today. We are celebrating Mama's 88th birthday today. And it's an honor to be in her home in Carruthersville, Missouri. We're talking about celebrating the wisdom She's left a legacy, and mm -hmm. I thank God for how you taught me. Mm -hmm. And you know, I remember as a child having to be in the service and listen to the messages, and I remember you talking about the Bible saying, talk what you know and what testify you know. what you see. That's right. And the way you used to say it is talk what you do know. Not what you heard, not what somebody told you. That's why this way it goes. Talk what you know, mm -hmm. do know, and testify what mm -hmm. you have seen. You and go. you know in the court of law, you can't get on the witness stand uh, passing gossip. You can't get on the witness stand saying, well, I know it's true because my best friend, she wouldn't lie. Mm -hmm. Uh, my best friend told me, and I know it's true, because she wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Yeah. The judge won't hear that. No. Did you see it? No. Were you there? Yeah. And if we start living by those principles, that, those are the seeds of wisdom that we can leave for the next generation. Amen. So that's how I was brought up. Mm -hmm. And that one that you just talked about a minute ago, about how to treat people, oh, how yeah. to be kind. They right. 
right. that's easy. That's not easy. And you yeah. know that that was so embedded in me that I I worked a whole career. I worked a whole career. Yeah. Yeah. And then I wrote a book, and it was based on mm -hmm. learning lessons from learning uh, lessons from life and the experiences that um, I had. Mm -hmm. And I kept in mind everywhere I went, it's not how people treat you; it's how you treat them. Amen. So when I got into complex situations and problematic things on my job, I always remember what is my role in this, and that came from my mother. That kind of teaching, that came from having been taught uh, how to get along with people and how to work the right way. At that hey, come on down to CNJ Trophy and let our family take care of your family. Do you have morning breath that lasts all day? Need a solution? Call Dove Family Dentistry. They provide treatment for most types of gum disease. To get started, call 213-9337 or on the webs at dovesfamilydentistry.com. Toothache? Need to see a dentist? Give Dove Family Dentistry a call at 213-9337. They take walk-ins, offer evening and Saturday appointments, payment arrangements, and accept most dental insurance. Call 213-9337 today. Okay, go. We're here today, this morning, we are um, celebrating my mother, we, she's celebrating her 88th birthday today, and we're just enjoying our stay here in Carruthersville, so happy to have Mama still with me, so happy to have you doing well, you're not laid up in the hospital, you're not yeah. in a, a nursing yeah. home, but just thank God that we can still, you can still have a good quality of life. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And I remember the few times that you were ill, and it just made me appreciate you more. Oh, cool. Because yeah. God gave you another chance. And, mm -hmm. and we have been just constantly benefiting mm -hmm. from the wisdom. Um, I wrote a book, Mama, as you know, mm -hmm. and my book, it's about motivating. It's about seeds of motivation. Yeah. yeah. And then I created a line of jewelry mm -hmm. called Celebrate. And this is about sowing seeds of wisdom. Yeah. And it's my opinion that we need to leave some wisdom to the next generation. That's true. Honey. It's my opinion that they could use some wisdom at this point because so much is going on. Mm -hmm. And not that I'm looking down on them and saying I'm more. Mm -hmm. But we have been gifted with so much wisdom. And one thing, another thing I remember you teaching me, always have your own. Always not be able to take yeah, care of that's yourself. Right, that's right. You right. always I'm taught us how to work hard. Mm -hmm. Work for what we get. Don't nobody owe us anything. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. anything people give us. Mm -hmm. Learn how to use your own hands and how to create things. And I watch you do that. It's not, oh, yeah. I didn't just fall out the sky, but that's how I was brought up. Yeah. I watch you work jobs. I watch you make clothes. I watch you work, uh, you know, go visit the sick and Go sing at different programs, and mm -hmm. you were always busy, just busy, 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 busy. And when people ask me, where do you get that energy? Who motivated you? What made you do that? Yeah. The yeah. first thing that pops in my mind, I say, my mama. <laughs> because <laughs> you, you, you inspired me just watching you. Mm -hmm. I knew, I just felt like I could do almost anything because you used to tell me that. That's right. I can do Don't anything you can think of and I want the next generation to know they can do anything they can think of That's but right. they need to start thinking. There you go, love. Uh, you know, Mama, growing up, I remember you singing all the time. Yeah. And I remember getting in, we, we could tell, your voice was like a radar. We could tell you were in the area. Because you were always singing. You could never tip up on us because you were always singing. We said, here come mom, here come mom, here come mom. And we would take off, especially if we were getting in there for a minute. 
Yeah. I just thank God for how you raised your family. It wasn't just me. It was yeah, six, of six of us. And we were a close-knit family. You taught us to be close and to take care of one another. Mm -hmm. Lord, to love one another. We always had prayer in the home. We always had, we had the fast. Yeah. And I remember you telling the that they even making a dog fast. I was like, I didn't know why the dog had to fast. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we had to fast. We had to pray. You were teaching us how to, how yeah. to let yeah. God be number one yeah. in our lives. And yeah. how all of our help really comes from the Lord. How to be humble and know that whatever you accomplish in this life, mm -hmm. you right. accomplish that by the help of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, before we go out the air today, Mama, I want you to sing. I want you to just sing like you used to oh, sing oh, nice. coming across the field. <laughs> you know how you just be working and singing. You be cooking and singing. You be washing and cleaning singing. and singing and washing and singing and then rocking in the chair singing, <laughs> putting the baby to sleep. You were always singing. singing. And that yeah. hasn't changed, Mama, because you, you, uh, you put out your first CD when you were 80 years old. Oh, yeah. And it's some people, you, uh, you know, that. wish they could mm -hmm. do something like that. They that's even had the courage to, to do a CD. You know, that's how I could write a book because you taught me mm -hmm. that I could do anything I could think of. That's right. And I just feel like if anybody else can do it, I can do it too. Sure. You can do what anybody else do. <laughs> I, or yeah. anything you want to do. Yeah. And then you can be creative and do your own thing. You don't have to do what somebody else is doing. That, you know, I was born with my own talent. Yeah. And that I had to cultivate that talent and let God give me. You know, I remember how you told me about my children and how if they were playing in the floor. Yeah. Watch what they were doing. If they were playing like they were playing the piano, that would be a musician. That's you right. taught me how they to don't even discover that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Discover the talent in our in the children. And I did do that and my children did turn out to be very, very talented. That's right. So mama, I'm gonna let you say something. I I just been talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying you talking because all of this is true what you said. Because and you used to live in a worthless life. Some people just live people and they die. Folks say, well, that's one of them gone. But leave some behind you. Teach them how yes. to cook. Yes. Teach them how to talk to people, how to speak to people. Children these days, we even speak to other people. They just turn their head and look and see them. They got to find a way to cross the family. I don't know what you mean by the cross. I don't know what you're talking about. I say, hey, easy. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Talk with your tongue. That's what God gives you. A tongue for the music, <laughs> not your family. So it's best for people just to be flat footed and tell the people the truth. Because mm -hmm. children got so much to face, and now they're facing yeah. drugs. They face it, the parents killing babies. Yes. The babies killing parents. Children, young, even here in Crossville, young folks shoot young, young lady not too long ago, 14 years old, committed suicide, mm. killed herself. They got bad problems. Yeah. We're about to have the power of God is to conquer some of these bad devils they got in. They make them use them problems they got in their body. Like, mm -hmm. So we can't just play around. So come on in and pull them up there. Tell them what life is like, what mm -hmm. happened. You mentioned around the boys, what they do, and what you better not do, unless you're going to get messed up like Sister Sue. <laughs> because you see what Sister Sue is on the street. Her daughter happened. So I ain't going to do that because Sister Sue's daughter done it and got messed up. Now she can't go to school and she can't take care of the baby because she ain't have no babysitter. Mm -hmm. So then she wanted to make grandmama babysitter. But I didn't never want to be no babysitter unless I wanted to be. Yes. I done raised one set, that one set is enough. God didn't need to <laughs> raise two sets. He didn't need to give me two sets. So one set is enough. When you're younger, you can have children. You can play with them. You got a lot of action of your limbs. You can jump out and play ball, catch a jump rope, do whatever they do. When you get old, you get out there and jump, you're going to fall and break your bones. Yes. <laughs> so you just got to use what you got while you got it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. This is what you got. Why you got it? I don't blame you. And some old people I have known them say, "Child, I'm gonna bring young Mary have a little problem with the hood. Child, I leave it now. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, baby. You know you need to your side. You had five or six times, and you didn't go nowhere. Now why took somebody just to leave home? I would leave him. You wouldn't do me like that. You didn't let them leave that one. Why you told me to leave him? Leave him. So it's a, it's something to do. 
Mm-hmm. You got to have our mind made up, Lord, and make it and recall my life. Yes. Uh, but the main thing is to start get saved. What I mean by get saved, quit doing wrong and do right. It's not a feel of a clam, just don't do it. If it said, thou shalt not steal, don't take nobody's stuff. <laughs> it's just as plain as nose on your face. Don't bother folks' stuff. And thou shalt not commit a dirty. Don't take nobody's wife or nobody's husband. You got one, what you want to? Oh, it's just a lot to think about, you yeah. know. So it's life is long if you let it be gone. Because if we don't do what's right, God is short nowadays. We don't live on this earth long, on the earth. Mm-hmm. And so many people now is going in there, teenagers, kidding teenagers, mm-hmm. babies kidding parents, teach them how to shoot. Praise the teacher who to shoot. Teach the boy how to pray, baby. Mm-hmm. Show him how to get on his knees in That's your house right. and That's pray. Right. That's right. He, might, he don't know what to say. He tell him what to say. Mm-hmm. Teach him how to pray. Mm-hmm. That's what bring the Lord with him all the time. He come down through the scripture here once in a while. And that that it be, be bound in children. Like me, I have grandchildren. And I, I teach them. I get teach teaching yet in me. Yeah. I get telling them, oh, don't say it, don't say that. Mm-hmm. Why am I going to say it? Because it's wrong. Yeah. And you can't go through with thinking you're the prettiest thing you walked on the earth. You is very ugly. Your ways have made you ugly. You might be pretty, but baby, you look like a red in the face now. Because your ways have made you ugly. So it's best for us just to do the thing that's right. And you do right, you come out right. Yes. You go in crooked, you come out crooked. And then you got a lot of little crook babies. They come in duck and dumb around the high thing because they see mama done it. Mm-hmm. Mama left daddy and run around the corner. Daddy left mama, she run around the corner. And so I hit her head when I got put me another one. Then he'll run his face ball and we'll see somebody here. Mm-hmm. We live in example. This we live this by precept and example. Yes. So I would tell that lie. When you been lying, when people been lying, and I had to find it out. Santa Claus, and my dad had really showed me, he would say, Santa Claus, come and eat the cake. But I wonder why can Santa Claus eat cake when we go to bed? <laughs> How can he come in and get a while he's a little? But I was little. And he got there, I said, I see what this Santa Claus looks like. I peeped in the window. He put his chair up there after all of us went to bed. He put his chair up there. And with the eating out the cake, I said, oh, that's Santa Claus there. That's there. He the one getting the cake, that was there. <laughs> he the one getting the cake. And so a lot of things you're going to find out. You find her mother lying. <laughs> she says she this day she's just devoted to her husband. Oh, she go around the corner and meet another man. That child, one, one, she don't know, he don't know why. He's wondering why, how come he went to daddy left. And he come over and mama and him went around the corner. <clears throat> Whatever we do, somebody see. Yeah. Somebody looking, baby. And it's going down the record. I believe we have to give it time to do this and done it in our own body. Yes. You can't do a lot of bad deeds and look for something. The Bible said, whatsoever a man so that means a woman too, that shall he also reap. If you've been cussing folks out, somebody going to curse you out, you've been out there in your mouth. That's right. Because you're a cussing. What's that mean? Well, Mama, I'm about to lie. you enjoying yourself, and yes, I am enjoying ma'am, having enjoy. you on my show. Bless you. And I want you to honey. sing. Now, I, I want you to sing. get a swallow of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and just whatever comes to mind. By the grace of the Lord, I, I come a long way. By the grace of the Lord, I, I come a long way. Oh, yes. I've been taught in going through the storm and rain. Yes. Lord God Almighty, keep right on holding my hand. It's by the grace, grace of the Lord I, I come a long way. It wasn't my father. Yes. It wasn't my mother. Oh, it was my sister. It wasn't even my brother. But it was by the grace. Of the Lord, I, I come a long ways. Oh, yes, you know, I've been taught in going through the storm and rain. Lord, God Almighty, keep right on holding my hand. It's by the grace, grace of the Lord, I, I come a long ways. 
sister Samantha. All right, that's that sister Jones I'm talking about. <laughs> you are always doing that. Oh, it was like that was our say, entertainment say. coming up. And we thank Try. God for you. Thank we are you. here today. I'm in conversation. We're talking this morning about celebrating Mama's 88th birthday. All right. It's been a wonderful birthday. Mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful birthday. <laughs> you were able to talk to a lost cousin that you hadn't heard from in over 20 years today. That's right. You have That's another right. cousin wife that came along with me. We enjoyed it. We had a big meal. We had turkey and dressing and all the trim and greens. And, and, greens. Jokes. <laughs> oh. and greens. <laughs> we just had a good time and yeah. we are so grateful. Not just me, but let me start with Dan. Yeah. Nathaniel. Yeah. Marie. That's my, that's my sister. Mm -hmm. Marie. Yeah. Larry. Uh -huh. Joe. All six of your children all are six. so grateful. So we are so them. grateful. And we are all celebrating it in our heart. And we thank mm -hmm. Larry for how he's taking good care of you. Yeah. Well, we like are spread out all over the place. We don't have to run home every day or every other weekend because Larry got it. He can cook, you know. <laughs> the boy know how to cook. He's cooking. He's Washing taking you, him and his children, Jasmine and Thelma, mm -hmm. and they taking you to church. And yeah, I mean, you're just living well, yeah. a good life uh, in your senior years. You're on top of the world. On top of the world. And that's something to yeah. celebrate. I mean, we are all so very grateful, and I want to. Just say something about that on my show today. Because mm -hmm. I've been taught not to take things and to take people for granted. No. And we just thank God for how everybody, not just your family, but you have people planted around me. good seeds. I got so many Larry seeds. went out of town and one of the sisters well, at the, the church, church came. Stayed with me. Say with you that he came back and y'all had church up in here, I heard. Oh, and child, and then time. you got people coming and cooking for you and people Washing cleaning for, for you. and Bathing in your hair. Bathing too. That's you know what that I said. Is? Yes, I knew they were babies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they call me your hair and they just make me cheer. But remember how oh, you yeah. visited the sick. Yeah. And you just talked about reaping and sowing. You planted those seeds. Yeah. That's the value of seeds of wisdom. It's wise to do good. Amen. Because when you plant good seeds, good things, it doesn't Come matter up. what people say. There you it doesn't go. matter what they do. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how they feel about you. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you still here. Oh, and now you are reaping the benefits of the seeds sure you planted. Sure and you're sure. just overwhelmed with blessings, Listen. with Ooh. people, with things being taken mm -hmm. care of, mm -hmm. making sure you get what you want. Mm -hmm. People sent you money and cards. Mm -hmm. Me, not me, uh, won't. What I want. <laughs> me, 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 and, and won't. won't. Both of them. Just a blessing. Yeah. But, you know, we, you we, we just want to celebrate that. And we are here today and we're talking about Let celebrating. Who is that? It's and again, thank you. For taking out the time and just enjoying that celebration with me and my mama. It has been a wonderful day spending time in Carrollsville, Missouri and airing this show on my mother, Missionary Odessa Jones. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for tuning in. Toothache? Need to see a dentist? Give Dove Family Dentistry a call at 213-9337. They take walk-ins, offer evening and Saturday appointments, payment arrangements, and accept most dental insurance. Call 213-9337 today. Hello, I'm James Sanders. There is nothing more important than family and loved ones. Let us help you with your family law, personal injury, and juvenile court matters. Over the last 13 years, our firm has assisted more than 8,000 families in times of crisis, and we want to help your family during your time of legal need. Give us a call today at 901-864-4103 or visit us at jamessanderslaw.com. Don't sit on your rights. Call me today.